Elon Musk's SpaceX has emerged as Indonesia's preferred choice for satellite launches, overtaking state-owned China Great War Industry Corp. CGWIC, following a Chinese rocket malfunction in April 2020. The incident, which resulted in the destruction of Indonesia's $220 million Nusantara 2 satellite, proved to be a pivotal moment for the Southeast Asian nation, leading to a shift away from Chinese space contractors in favor of mass space venture. The Chinese contractor, CGWIC, had initially courted Indonesia with enticing offers, including cheap financing, promises of broad support for its space ambitions, and the geopolitical influence of Beijing. However, the failure of the Nusantara 2 satellite marked a turning point for Indonesia, as SpaceX capitalized on the opportunity to showcase its launch reliability, cost-effective reusable rockets, and the personal relationship Musk fostered with Indonesian President Joko Widodo. Since the incident, SpaceX has successfully launched two Indonesian satellites, with a third scheduled for the coming Tuesday, while China has handled none. This shift marks a rare instance of a Western company making significant strides in Indonesia's telecommunications sector, which has traditionally been dominated by Chinese companies offering low costs and easy financing. SpaceX's success in Indonesia comes amidst U.S. concerns about the nation's reliance on the private space company, especially given Elon Musk's distinctive business style. While SpaceX has billions of dollars in U. S. government contracts, U.S. officials express unease about the direct dealings between SpaceX and Jakarta, bypassing the traditional consultation route through the State Department. The global space industry is witnessing fierce competition for dominance, with the satellite market alone valued at $281 billion in 2022. China, having launched a record 67 rockets last year, is a formidable player, with the majority handled by CGWIC. However, SpaceX, with a 90% share in US launches, has been successful in challenging China's dominance, particularly in satellite-based communications networks. The rivalry extends beyond Earth's atmosphere, as SpaceX's Starlink, which owns a majority of the satellites orbiting the Earth, competes with China's Kuowang broadband megaconstellation. U.S. military officials raise concerns about China's intentions in space, alleging espionage and an increase in military capabilities. In response, China dismisses these claims as a smear, accusing the U.S. of using such concerns to expand its influence in space. Elon Musk's visit to Indonesia in May 2022 played a crucial role in solidifying SpaceX's position in the country. Musk, seeking Tesla investment in Indonesia's nickel sector, engaged in talks with President Widodo. The visit led to SpaceX gaining regulatory approval for its Starlink satellite internet service in Indonesia. Further strengthening the ties, between Musk and the Indonesian government. Despite Indonesia's close relationship with China across various sectors, the 2020 rocket failure proved to be a significant factor in breaking China's dominance in satellite launches. The success of SpaceX in Indonesia is seen as a game-changer, with lower costs and higher launch slot availability attributed to the reuse of rocket parts. As the space industry continues to evolve, Indonesia's strategic shift towards SpaceX exemplifies the intricate geopolitical dynamics and the growing influence of private space enterprises on the global stage.